Rolly, well done. Another win at Q School. A 4-3 victory there over, over Peter Lyons. That must feel really good. Yeah, it feels amazing, to be fair. Um, playing against such an experienced player on um, such good conditions, it was hard. And um, it started off really well going 2-0 up. And then he played really well then from there to go 3-2 up. And I just pulled it back then and won the decider again. Yeah, another decider, because in your first round match against Callum Downing, you also won a decider in that one. Another one today, you'll be getting the nickname The, the Comeback Kid at this, right? Yeah, I know, I don't mind that name, <laughs> as long as I win. But did you feel that pressure being 2 up and then obviously Peter coming back 3-2, did you feel the pressure start to kick in? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, it was a little bit nervous, but as soon as I went 3 each, I just calmed down a bit, played my game and just fell from there. Mm. And you do seem really calm in the deciders in those scenarios. It was, I think... Uh, was it an 80 break the other day in, in the decider in your, in your first round match as well? Yeah, I think it was 86, I think, yeah. So you, you just feel calm. What, what is the key at Q School when the, the pressure is really high? Everyone here is desperate to get a tour card and, and everyone says in these opening round matches you often see a lot of players twitching. What's the, what's the key to staying calm in those, in those situations? Yeah, when you've just got to take every shot as it comes one by one. If you miss, you go back to your chair, you sit there and you just wait for another opportunity, really. Um, by getting frustrated, it's not going to help you in the long run. So, How have you found Q School? How have you found the environment here? Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful conditions, tables are lovely. It's just what you need to play on. Not feeling that, that pressure too much? No, not that much. It <laughs> doesn't look like it's showing. Um, I want to talk about your, your general form um, over the last couple of years. It's, we've seen you on the, on the main tour, your couple of appearances in, in the shootout course, famously beating Karen Wilson. And, and then obviously playing again in, in, in Swansea this year. For those who are following on the amateur team will know you played in the under-16 European final against Vladislav Gradinari as well. How do you feel about your game over the past sort of season, couple of seasons? Yeah, well, at the start of the season, it was um, just trying to work on a couple of things to try and improve my game with cue ball control, um, playing cannons, everything. And I've just worked on that for the last few, few months. And um, it's good that it shows that I've been working hard. Do you have a, a specific target in mind? I suppose a young player like yourself, you'd just be desperate to, to get on the main tour as, as much as possible, but presumably you've still got education and, and other things to sort of sort as you, as you grow up naturally as, as a teenager. Yeah, well, I think um, it's a bit too young to get on the tour at my age at the moment with experience-wise, but if it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. I've still got a few more years to try and get what I need. Mm. Are you working with any coaches, any experience former players, current players, to help you along that journey? Um, no, not really, not many. Just your sort of, your, your local contingent in sort of South Wales then? Yeah, just like um, my family, my dad, my bamp, my mum, everyone just helps me um, progress in my game. You'd also seen a number of youngs over recent years, the likes of Liam Davies, Liam Pollan here at Q School last year and, and Stan Moody as well. A number of young British players get their, their tour card. When you see sort of fellow teenagers and youngsters get on tour, does that, does that sort of reignite that, that fire or just lift that spark inside you to try and get that tour card? Yeah, you know, it, um, it boosts me up a bit to try and get what they're doing and try and do a little bit more than what they're doing. But um, yeah, like I said, when it comes, it'll come. Mm, and presumably the, the taste you got for the main tour with the appearances at the shootout, you look like you really enjoyed that environment, of course, shootout is always one that, that players enjoy, but I suppose you'd want, it, you'd want that more often that and taste of that more regularly. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to be playing in as many pro tournaments as I could at this age. And the aim this week, obviously everyone who turns out wants to get that, that tour card, that ticket at the end of the week, but what's your mentality? Uh, just win as many games as I can. Um, if I lose, come back next week and try even harder. If I win, I carry on going and possibly get that main tour card. And take every game to a decider as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does good for our YouTube stream numbers, Riley. Well done today. Well done the other day as well. And all the best this week. Thank you very much.